we are now going to the last section which is 2.3 from the same question that's 2.3 and 2.3 is by rosemary's toy factory rosemary's toy factory rosemary's toy factory rosemary's toy factory 2.2 was based on the control of raw material so 2.3 is rosemary's toy factory let's look at the answer sheet and see oh there is a before we go to 2.3 There is a calculation. Oh, yeah, we are still 2.3. Right, right. We have exhausted 2.2. We are now in 2.3. 2.3, it says, the factory manufactures toy teddy bears. There is no work in progress stock at the beginning or end of the year. The financial year ends on 31st December. Rosemary decided to address the problem of low profits made in 2020 by making some changes to improve sales and production. Now 2.3.1 provide a calculation to confirm that the break-even point for 2021 financial year is correct. We want to provide the calculation. That is 2.3.1. 2.3.1 break-even point. The total number of units that must be made and sold before the business starts to make profit. We have your fixed cost. There is no need to, to write the formula. I'm just reminding you of the formula. You have your fixed cost over selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit. There is no need to write the formula. I'm just reminding so that we know. So you do have information in your page 8 there of your question paper. Your total fixed cost is 224000 over your selling price per unit is 255 minus your variable cost per unit which is 192. It's all given in the question paper. It is all given in the question paper. So you have your 224,000 divided by 255 minus 192. That is 63. So like because that's 63. So it's like 224,000 divided by 63 equals to the break even point here. Yeah, let's prove. 224,000 divided by 63 equals to the break even point is 3,555,5. Yes, the break even point given here is 3,556. Yes, 3,556. So we have been able to prove that the break even point given here, which is 3,556, is correct. With 2,224,000 2, divided by 63. Remember, when the markers are marking, they would not mark this one because this one has been given. So it means your mark will be allocated in your fixed cost over your contribution per unit because the final answer was given and your task was to provide a calculation to confirm this break even point of 3,556. Right, 2.3.2, explain why Rosemary is pleased with the production level, sales, and break-even point, code figures for four marks. That's 2.3.2, 2.3.2, explain why Rosemary is pleased with the production level, sales, and break-even point, code figures for four marks. If you look at the production levels, the production levels, units produced and sold is 4,900. And the break-even point is 3,556. So 4,900 minus 3,556 equals to 4,900 number of units produced minus our break-even point of 3,000. 
556 equals to 1,354. 1,344. So the business has made a profit of 1,344 units. And this is full four marks. Because here, this question required you to compare the number of units produced with the break-even point. The number of units produced is 4,900. Whilst the break-even, the minimum number that is required to cover all the costs is 3,556. So we are able to produce 3,556 and 1,344 more than that. Because the total number of units produced is 4,900. So the business has made a profit of 1,344 units. And 2.3.3. Two point three point three. Explain to Rosemary why the fixed cost per unit decreased from fifty six rand to forty five rand. If you look at the fixed cost per unit in your question paper in twenty twenty, it was fifty six rand, but in twenty twenty one, it is now forty five rand seventy one cents. So it's roughly 46 rand. So why it decreased from 56 rand to 45 rand 71. So the, the applicable concept here is economies of scale. in the number of units produced resulted in the decrease of the fixed cost per unit. If I can just make a practical example, because the fixed cost, they remain constant, they do not change. Let me just wrap here now. We are still here. Let's say your fixed cost is 1,000 in 2020. In 2020, your fixed cost is 1,000. In 2021, your fixed cost is still 1,000. Fixed costs, they do not change. If you produced, if you produced 200 in 2020, 1,000 divided by 200 will be five. Right, so your fixed cost per unit will be five. But if you increase your number of units produced to 500 in 2021, your fixed cost per unit will then decrease because it will be the fixed cost is still 1000, but because the number of units produced has increased to 500, then your fixed cost per unit will then decrease to two rand. So that is what we call economies of, of scale. So that's 2.3.3, right. And the last question here is 2.3.4, 2.3.4. And there was a table provided for 2.3.4. There was a table provided for 2.3.4 in the answer book, wherein you were given the direct material cost That's the cost and the comment.
comment and positive effects. We are given the direct material cost. The second one is direct labor cost. And the last one is selling and distribution cost. Right. We are asked here that Rosemary made a deliberate decision regarding variable cost to improve the business. Explain the decisions that she might have taken on this cost and how this could have had a positive effect on the business code figures. Let's start with direct material cost. Let's, let's check the decision, deliberate decision. Direct material cost decreased from 8 rand per unit to they decrease from 8 rand per oh increased increase let's be observant the direct material cost increased not decreased sorry about that they increased from 8 rand per unit to 100 rands per unit they increase from 8 rand per unit to 100 rand per unit and what do we think maybe might have been the reason? Maybe this business decided to improve the quality of material. This is material. Improve quality to satisfy customers. So this will have a positive effect. The positive effect, even though the material cost increased, um, from 80 to 100, what might be the reason and the effect to that? It, it is to improve the quality in order to satisfy our customers. The direct labor cost, what happened to direct labor cost? The direct labor cost decreased. Direct labor cost decreased from the direct labor cost per unit decreased from 72 rand. We are taking cost per unit from 72 rand to 56 rand. Decreased from 72 rand per unit to 56 rand. And what might be the reason? Maybe the business restricted over time. Maybe the business restricted over time as a result, direct labor cost went down from 72 to 50. Or maybe there was more supervision during normal time. So as a result, the workers are now working fast during normal time and the cost is now going down, which is also having a very positive effect if, because if the cost is going down, then the production cost will also be low. Right? Selling and distribution. Let's look at the cost per unit. It increased from 34 rand, 24 rand to 36. Increased from 24 in 2020, 24 rand per unit to 36 rand per unit. To 36 rand per unit. So selling and distribution cost increased from 24 rands to 36. What, what might be the, the cause for this? Clambe, we may think of the business offered free delivery to improve sales. Maybe we, we, are, we are thinking that the, the, the impact, why, why is the selling and distribution cost increasing? It increased. Remember, the selling and distribution has got to do with advertising, has got to do with delivery. You may even mention maybe the reason maybe we advertised more to improve sales. That is why the cost increased. Or maybe the business offered free delivery to improve sales to customers. This then brings us to an end of our question two based on cost accounting. This section is a very interesting section and we are encouraging accounting students to make sure that they focus on this question, they do it thorough with an understanding. If you have a clear understanding of what you are doing, then you will not have problems of answering questions. And if you are clear with what you are doing, you will then give the correct answer because 
with my experience, the observation is that people will be giving wrong answers because they do not have a clear understanding of what is happening. So we are encouraging students to make sure that they do this activity with an understanding so that one is able to give the correct answers. Thank you very much.